Hey, Charon, want to fight? <sighs> I lost that. Let's see if you can cut through my coat this time. I hear you, pal. Hang on. Oh, interesting. I trust your mother, Queen Persephone, is faring well if she has as fine a son as you, young Zagreus. Come on, you knuckleheads. Got you. Another skill as I on. Good seeing you as ever there, Baldy. Well then. I think Baldy's warming up to you. Shall we, sir? This armor's heavy, but makes me even faster than before. Watch. Skelly, here you go. You are unwelcome in Elysium. Didn't rough you up too bad last time, did I? See you soon, Meg. Well now, young Sprout. You've met the so-called King of the Olympians, and I. Whom do you now suppose is genuinely ruler of this snow-encrusted mountaintop of ours? Oh, ha, 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 Lady Demeter. Your wit is just as dry as the earth lying quite fallow in your care. Perhaps you should go tend to that again. Though, let's we go ahead and help our young man first. Well, if it isn't our mutual friend. Enjoy the peace and quiet with us, Zag. Who are you? <laughs> Come on in! You know, I've only heard the tales of the gigantic, vicious, flesh-eating vermin up there near the surface. Now I guess we both know that those tales are definitely true. Definitely true. For me. Let's go with this. Always hoped we'd have a fountain here precisely in that location. I don't recall approving that expense. The gemstone-bearing prince commissioned such a finely crafted fountain for the house that all the shades who witnessed it still think of him quite fondly ever since. Ever since? It's not been that long. I'm about ready to go another round with me out there. Look to me for clear instruction, boy. Not for the embodiment of the standard to which you are held. Set your aim higher than to be like me. 